let us begin a new chapter social health now what is meant by health health is a state of physical mental and social well being of a person not merely the absence of any disease now here what is meant by social health why because in this chapter we are giving more importance of social health so let us study now what is meant by social health social health is the ability of a person ability of a person means the capacity of a person to establish relationship with the others to maintain relationship with the others so first point of social health it is the capacity of a person to maintain a good relationship with the others second thing the ability to change one's own behavior according to the changing social conditions now so much changes are keep on occurring in the society so as a result of it if a person can be able to change his own behavior that is also increasing social or leading to social health now so much changes are occurring in our society but a person is unable to change his way of talking or behavior then he cannot be able to live or lead a happy life in the society so for leading a happy healthy life in a society two important things should be happen first thing ability of a person to establish a good relationship with the others second thing we can say that ability to change his own behavior according to the changing social conditions now what are the different factors essential for good social health now for a good social health which all factors are necessary essential means necessary so here number of factors are there first factor that is strong personality strong personality means first thing we can say that he should have confidence second thing we can say that he should have the capacity to use his brain for doing good so two things are there one thing he should have confidence second thing we can say that he should be having the capacity to use his brain for doing good then we can say that that person is having strong personality strong personality is an important factor in the good social health or this strong personality helping for developing a good social health next one having large number of friends and relatives then we should have the capacity to have more friends as well as more relatives we should not have any bad character of fighting with the friends even fighting with the relatives so we should have such a character of having more friends as well as more relatives then we should have trust in others we should have faith on others normally means what they are doing uh, i cannot believe that condition will be there then we cannot develop good social health so we should have faith in or trust in others then we have to use the time in a proper way as a student we need to learn lot of subjects these all subjects you have to study and finish teachers are teaching portion daily so you should have a proper planning of completing the portion which is teaching by the teacher or teachers in a day so daily portion daily you have to complete it so for that you should have a proper planning so we can say that proper use of timing is very important for maintaining a good social health then we should respect others 
as a result of it we will get respect from others so there are five factors are essential for good the social health first thing we can say that strong personality second thing having large number of friends and relatives we should have faith or trust in others then we should use time in a very proper way so that we can be able to complete our works on time even we can say that if we are in the single condition alone sometimes we may be alone at home loneliness we can say so that particular time means i am alone what i will do that we should not be there we should utilize the proper time during loneliness as well as when we are there with our friends peer group means with our friends when we are there even then we have to utilize the time in a very proper way then we have to give respect to others as well as we have to if we give respect to others of course we will get respect from others now here which all factors are affecting social health now there are various factors which are affecting the social health that is first one we can say education if we are well educated then we will have very uh, we can lead a good, very good life even we will get very good job so as a result of it financial problem we won't face so here we can say that which all factors are affecting social health one is education is affecting social health second thing we can say financial status status financial status is affecting um, our social health then gardens where we stay near to us garden is there that is also having big role of maintaining social health then residential area the area where we stay that is also having a good role in maintaining social health water availability of water if water is not there we cannot be able to lead a healthy life so water is very important water plays a very important role for maintaining social health then toilets clean toilets are necessary if it is not there that will affect our health then playgrounds necessary for playing if it is not there means the children will be inactive so sometime playing also necessary that can be able to affect the health of society then social safety very important means where we stay there means security is very important thieves are not there then criminals are not there very good environment we are having so that is very important for leading a healthy as well as good social life so safety situation should be there safe situation our surrounding should be very safe we can believe the people nobody is harming us such a environment is very important for leading a healthy as well as good social life then education as well as job opportunities very good education we have to we should get it even we can say that after getting education there should be the opportunities for getting very good job to us as a result of it we won't have any problems in case of finance then food clothing shelter as well as medicines are also having big role in the maintenance of social health so proper food materials balanced food materials we should have then good clothing should be there clean clothing is compulsory it should be there then we can say that the place the house where we stay that should be a good house clean house then we can say that that is also having a big role for maintaining a good health in the society then we can say that enough there should be enough i mean uh, quantities of medicines or proper or we can say that in a uh, sufficient quantities of uh, medicines should be available in the medical shops as a result of it even if we are getting a disease easily we will we easily availability of uh, medicines should be there easily if it is available then immediate cure we will get so we can say that easy availability of uh, 
medicines should be there, medical shops should be near to us. Very far medical shop is there then for getting the medicine we will suffer. So we can say that medicines, water, uh, then playgrounds, gardens, then uh, toilets. These all things are very very necessary things to us. Even enough number of clothes must to us. Then food material, proper food materials we should get for consuming. So as a result of it we can maintain a uh, good social health. Then here enough transport facility also should be there. Whenever we want to go to any place so we should not uh, have to wait or there should not have uh, so much a problem of getting uh, vehicles enough there should be enough number of vehicles for traveling from one place to another as a result of it we can say that we won't waste our time as well as we won't waste our energy by standing so there should be enough uh, number of vehicles for traveling from one place to another so these all factors are having big role for maintaining good social health. Now, how to here now, one more thing is there, what are the different factors disturbing our good health? Now, there are different factors helping our, uh, means disturbing, not helping, disturbing our uh, good health. Example here, one is so much tension, mental stress, that mental stress, that means so much tensions, Second thing, addiction. Addiction of various things like we can say tobacco, cigarette, then gutka, then alcoholic drinks, drugs taking. All these things are known as addictions. If we develop the character of having all these things, then we can say that our good health will get disturbed. Now here we can say that these all things are taken by the people because of, we can say that, peer group pressure that means uh, my friend is doing it my friend is telling me to do it then we are doing it second thing we can say that high standard living will be there very rich people they are also spoiling because of taking such things then we can say that some people are imitating the elders elders are doing then even i am doing like that so we can say that there are for taking all these things three factors are helping we can say because because of taking addiction our health is getting disturbed even though people are taking that is because of peer group pressure we can say then high standard living we can say then the other one elders are doing so even to the elders they are imitating and doing so as a result of it very much harmful effect is getting to the society then we can say that incurable diseases incurable diseases means uh, we can say aids cancer these are the examples of incurable diseases for these diseases like cancer as well as aids no medicine till now found out some precautions are there some care is giving even then up till now there is no medicine for curing cancer as well as aids so if a person is getting cancer or AIDS that is affecting the whole society. So here we can say that which are the factors affecting the or disturbing the disturbing the good health of the society. First thing mental stress. Second thing we can say because of addiction. Third thing we can say because of incurable diseases. Now addiction means taking or using tobacco, cigarettes, then drink, uh, using drinks, alcoholic drinks we can say. Then uh, even we can say that gutka taking, drugs taking, all these things are uh, affecting the social life. But this is taking because of peer group pressure. Second thing high standard living. Third thing imitating elders. Now we can say that because of addiction that will affect the people, those who are taking their nervous system, muscular system then heart, lungs, liver etc. So their nervous system it will affect, muscular system it will affect, even we can say that their heart, lungs, liver etc. it will affect. Now, how to manage stress? Stress means a tension, so much tension is there. Then how we can manage? For managing stress there are various process or various 
methods are there we can say that first thing we have to take good nutrition that means very good nutrients we should consume so we can say that we should consume balanced diet we can say so if we consume balanced diet in that which all things will be there carbohydrate will be proteins fats vitamins minerals dietary fibers will be there water will be there such food items if we will have we can say that we will have may we can manage our mental tension or stress we can say that so much a tension will be there to us for managing that we can have balanced diet proper nutrients we can say as a result of it we can manage our stress second thing we can say that we need enough rest as well as enough sleep then again we will get a relief or we will get stress from that we will get a relief then other thing we can say that social connection social connection that means we should have enough number of friends when we are having tension that time we should call up to our friends call up to our relatives call up to our sister brother then we should talk openly so as a result of it we will get a um, relief from the stress then we can say that try to be more friendly with others we should not have any fight with others try to be friendly with others then we can say that uh, here whenever we are talking that particular time uh, we should try to laugh and talk with the people that means we should not show any kind of stress try to be friendly with the people and try to laugh and talk with the people then we can say that what all problems we are facing try to speak openly plus we should try to listen others sometimes mm -hmm. others our friends will give us so much advices so we should listen that thing even we are facing any problem we should openly speak to our friends that means to our close friends then here we can say that laughter a yoga enough yoga exercises or yoga practice we should do as a result of it again we can say meditation we can do then yoga exercises we can do other type of exercises we can do as a result of it we will get relief from mental stress then we can say that prioritize task prioritize the task means now as a student you have enough subjects for learning then you may have some easy subjects some difficult subjects so first you try to select the easy subject for learning afterwards once you will become fresh then you start to study tough subjects mm -hmm. then time management also having a big role on time try to finish which all things you wanted to do on time if you are not doing then one day go one hour go that will be getting wasted your work you cannot be able to finish on time so which all task which all work you have to do decide first plan first afterwards that day itself try to complete it today's work if you are keeping for tomorrow tomorrow again you will have other work so you cannot be able to finish it then later you will have a mental stress when exams are coming nearby so try to finish your work on time so time management has a big role for maintaining your mental pressure so these all things are about social health so we can say that for maintaining social health very important thing that means we should have enough number of friends then second thing we ourselves should try to change our behavior depending upon the social conditions in which society we stay so depending upon that we ourselves should have the capacity to change our behavior then there are various factors essential for good health various factors affecting good social health then which all factors are disturbing good health 
these all things we have studied then how we can be able to manage our stress all these all these things are very important to lead a very good social health nowadays excessive unnecessary irrational irrational means unreasonable use of communication media as well as modern technology cost so much problem in the social health people spend several hours with the cell phones they are unaware of the surroundings we can say that use of communication media as well as modern technology to many of the people are becoming like a addiction as a result of it various diseases are getting to those people if we are using cell phones for a for a purpose it is not going to affect us why because we will use it minimally but without cell phone cannot sit freely like that many people are there so to them it is like an addiction as a result of it various problems are facing by the people they are we can say headache continuously if we use mobiles we will get headache headache then insomnia insomnia means sleeplessness we won't get a sleep to sleep at night for sleeping other one joint pain will be there afterwards a tinnitus tinnitus means it is a condition of ringing in the ears we are feeling that inside the ear ringing like a sound is hearing that disease is known as tinnitus then tiredness normal tiredness will be there then we can say forgetfulness we continuously if you are using the mobile we won't remember anything we will forget so many things then fatigue fatigue means because of stress because of tension if you are getting the tiredness that tiredness is known as fatigue fatigue means due to tension or due to mental stress how much tiredness we are feeling that tiredness is known as fatigue this is normal tiredness this is a fatigue fatigue means because of tension or because of stress how much tiredness we are getting very much tired that feeling is getting that is known as a fatigue because of the excessive use of computers as well as internet many people are affected with different problems one thing we can say the persons who are using continuously computer as well as internet we can say that they are becoming solitary solitary means a single person means no relation with any other person like their condition will be there they won't bother about any other people so here we can say that only solitary condition single condition every time they will be in computer as a result of it they have no contact with the other people we can say that they become solitary second thing we can say that they won't have any good relationship with the friends as well as relatives even we can say the neighbors or we can say that the people those who are staying in the society with them all they won't have any good relationship then we can say that they will be self centered self centered means they will bothered about themselves they have no botheration about others then we can say that they develop a disease like autism we can say a kind of abnormality and we can say selfishness selfishness means think of themselves will be there they won't have any botheration about others then we can say that they will be less sensitive about the need of other people they won't feel anything if others are having any sufferings but these people won't have any botheration any thinking of or any uh, feel on others 
so we can say that they are having less sensitive mind or they develop less sensitive mind because of continuous use of computer as well as internet other thing we can say that they won't have or they won't be such people won't be ready to help others if they need for any help from such people so here we can say that the people those who are continuously working with the computers as well as internet they won't be ready to help others effects of playing games on cell phones and computers this computer game is very lengthy games so the people those who are addicted to it they spend lot of money for playing computer games and they waste their important time they lose money they waste their important time even they won't have any concentration for doing important subjects even because of playing such games their stress is increasing as a result of it death occurring chance also more now they we had already studied about stress management even then some stress cannot be controlled because of such methods like we can say that here depression as well as frustration such mental problems are arising due to more mental stress so such problems uh, with the help of yoga meditation or various exercises with that it is unable to control so such serious stress problems like depression and frustration can be cured with the help of medical advice or counseling or we can say psychotherapy with the help of them such a type of serious stress problems can be cured similarly with the help of or many ngos provide helping hands for saving the people from stress here unified movement against tobacco started with 45 well known organizations like who tata trust etc for controlling tobacco or for controlling the use of tobacco then salam mumbai foundation trust or organization is working for children and giving help to the children those who are living in slum area in the field of education sports arts as well as business along with such a help even this salam mumbai trust or salam mumbai foundation that is made some districts in maharashtra tobacco free through hard work